Sophie, who pushed the boundaries of pop music, dies at 34 as a producer and performer. Sophie distilled speed, noise, melody and clarity, working simultaneously at the experimental fringes of dance music and the center of pop. Sophie on stage at Coachella in 2019. Her 2018 album, Oil of Every Pearl's Uninsides, was nominated for a Grammy for Best Dance Sophie, an innovative producer and performer whose music distilled speed, noise, melody, clarity and catchiness into what would soon be called hyperpop, died on Saturday in Athens. She was 34. Her death, after an accident, was confirmed in a statement from her management company, Modern Matters, which said that Sophie, who was Scottish, had been living in Greece, and that true to her spirituality she had climbed up to watch the full moon and accidentally slipped her and fell. Sophie worked simultaneously at the experimental fringes of dance music and the center of pop, recording with Madonna, Charlie XCX and the rapper Vince Staples. Her 2018 album, Oil of Every Pearl's Uninsides, was nominated for a Grammy Award as Best Dance. Electronic Album. Sophie's first appearances on stage were performed in near darkness, concealed in a DJ booth and avoiding photographs. But on tour in 2018, after she came out as transgender, she emerged at center stage, singing and posing in costumes and wigs that embraced both plastic futurism and vintage glamour as the music veered from brutal noise to lush ballad. A push and a focus in the Sophie music is to condense particular feelings down to the most concise, shortest form possible, Sophie said in a 2015 interview with the New York Times. To try and create this immediate feeling, through sound and lyrics, that communicates itself instantaneously. Sophie Zion was born on September 17, 1986, in Glasgow. She was a self-taught musician learning to make sounds with cheap synthesizers and inspired by her father's cassette tapes of electronic music raves. In the early 2000s Sophie moved to Berlin, an electronic music hotbed, and gathered a loose dance pop collective called Motherland. One of Motherland's members was the artist Matthew Lutzkenoy, who used Sophie's music at exhibitions in the New Museum in Manhattan and across Europe. 